NFC over and unders. We're talking uh, win totals, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and get it kicked off, man, with the top of the list. According to Vegas, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have the highest possible win total in the NFC. So I'm going to let the fellas uh, sound off on that. The win total is currently at 11 and a half wins. Uh, G, I'm going to start with you. Would the Buccaneers win le- more or less than 11 and a half, win- 11 and a half games this year? I want to say more just because you got the Saints that we don't know how James is going to play. We don't know who who the Pan- who the Panthers are going to throw as quarterback. Who else is on the division? Falcons. The Falcons, like no defense. Uh, they got a nice tight end that they drafted. But besides that, it's just like mm, it's still an iffy. Like are the Falcons are going to be contenders? Probably not. Most likely not. They're going to be pretenders throughout the whole season. They're going to be a 50-50 team. Like, shit, you can see the Bucks could probably only lose, like, three games this season. Yeah. Well, it's going to be hard. We got to we gotta keep in mind. The Saint, that you know they're going to lose one to the division. And who else they play? Who else is on their schedule this year? Uh, it looks like they got the Bears, win. Dolphins, Rams. Win, win. I mean, this, Rams, this could Rams be. Rams is a toss-up because, because of Bradford. Stafford, yeah, Stafford. Uh, Staff, Matt Stafford, uh, yeah, there you go. Well, we'll get we'll get to the Rams and Matt Stafford in a second. Don't don't even bring that man's name up right now. Y'all know I can't stand no damn Matt Stafford. Um, <laughs> lost me some money, didn't he? <laughs> lost me some money, man. He is the most overrated <laughs> QB. But uh, Steph, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna kick it to you next, man. Over under hey. for for the Buccaneers, eleven and a half. Hey, I mean, uh, G's evaluation is very, uh, very spot on. I mean, because you figure the division is very weak this year. But, I mean, and, you know, they figured more time with the crops, you know, the crew, they're going to they gonna do better. But uh, 11 and a half, I, I see Tom Brady as a kind of guy that's not really a regular season baller. He, teams, he seems to ramp it up as the season goes on. So I think they'll probably finish with about 11. So if the over-under is 11 and a half, I'll take the under. Hmm. Let's keep in mind that's they did bold. add that extra game. So, oh, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. yeah, right, right, right. no, 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 my bad. I was counting off sixteen. If there's seventeen games, I'll take the over. Yeah, yeah, that's, I was, I was gonna say they did add that extra game. So I think that's where that half is coming into play. Bryce, uh, over under eleven and a half for Tampa Bay. This is an easy one. I mean, in the last ten seasons before he got to the Bucks with the Patriots. Tom Brady only won 11 games one time. Every time after that, it was 12 games or more that he won. The man does not win 11 games. This was a one-off with the Bucs. That 11-5 and five last year, that was a one-off because he was just getting used to the squad, getting used to the team, getting used to the, to the city. The man is settled in now. Uh, I see them win. They, could even, they can win up to 13 games. 14 games even is even in the realm of possibilities. That defense is legit. They got two of the best linebackers in the game. Re-up with Levante David. We all know about the boy White in the middle. Dominant linebacking presence. The pass rushers are still there. They re-up with my guy, uh, what's his name? Name is slipping from me right now. But they still got JPP. What's the guy that was lead, that led the league in sacks just a year, two years ago? Shaq Barrett. Uh, Shaq Barrett. Shaq Barrett Shaquille. on the other side, yeah. Uh-huh. So, I mean, you're talking about a, a dominant defense over there. I mean, they got the... The young safeties, the young safety tandem, bro. Bucks defense is legit. Bucks defense is legit. The offense you don't got to worry about. A B just was getting his feet wet last season. A B is back. Chris Godwin's a certified dog. I mean, to me, he's a top fifteen receiver at worst. Mike Evans mm, is probably Mike Evans might be a top ten, top five at best. So I mean, you talking about a, a legit receiving core? A legit defense, and then you got Tom Brady, who in the last, let's call it, 13 seasons has only won 11 games twice. Every other time he's going over 12 with one extra game on to the season. Uh, I definitely think the uh, I definitely think the Buccaneers are going over 11 and a half. But I will say I do expect improvements from the uh, NFC South. So we'll get into that as we keep it pushing. Yeah. Um... I think there'll be some improvements in the NFC South, but when when I'm looking at their schedule, and it pains me to say it, fellas, they're playing our division, the NFC East as well this season. 
So not only do I think they'll they'll possibly go five and one in their own division, they probably won't lose to any NFC East teams. Um, yeah, there, there's a strong chance that the Buccaneers push for seventeen and zero in the regular season. I mean, when I'm looking at the schedule, what team stands out? They could beat them. Possibly the Rams. I don't believe in Matt Stafford. Um, the, I don't see the maybe the Bills. I, I don't know, man. The, there's a strong chance. And it's any given Sunday, so you can never really, really call a perfect season. But knowing Tom Brady and looking at what the Buccaneers have on offense and defense, I think they could they could potentially push for an undefeated season. Whoa, Whoa. Rome getting spicy. Is he on? Is, is Rome turning to Jim Rome already? I don't know. <laughs> hey. I don't know. Undefeated just, season. I don't know if I'm ready just, to go that far. I'm just up. looking at what I got in front of me, but hey, it is. Early. You say what early. you're saying. Let's not forget the last time Tom Brady tried to go undefeated, he played the Giants. So you're telling me he's going to beat the Giants one time and then come to playoff here we go? That's what you're saying. Saying yeah, well, maybe the, the Giants, Giants come, come to the, Gi- the Giants have to get to the playoffs first. first. Listen, Toronto. listen, we're coming to Toronto. Nobody's saying. Don't worry, we're gonna get to y'all eventually, man. Y'all at the bottom of the list. 